Okay, this is a poem entitled Paid in Full. We speak of love, joy, and peace. But words without actions makes this fantasy. Just qualities to admire, merely dreams of what's good and true. Yet the things deemed sacrilegious describes what we actually do. Not meaning to be judgmental, it's just time to open our eyes. Time to stop taking advantage of the naive and innocent. Time to swallow all selfish-fueled pride. No longer just ignored, in this day and time, somehow we forget. The sacrifices of those who have gone on before us. This peace in life's puzzle simply does not exist. Striving hard to educate the young, forgetting to educate the givers of such. How can we expect them to effectively educate when they themselves know not that much? Academics is truly important and equally useless without common sense. The fact is, grass isn't greener on either side of the metaphoric fence. The more you have, the better off you are, is the teachings of modern day. If applied more toward moral values, the youth will be spared the price we now pay. And that poem is entitled, Paid in Full. Now, I wrote this poem for a particular reason. Um... I would say it was a spin-off of another poem, but it really wasn't. It's just observations. You know, I see something and I write about it. And this is, these are things that I saw. I mean, we praise the kids that, um, in school for making A's on their report card, but yet and still, they're flunking out at home. You know, I would much rather a child learn what they're supposed to learn at home than learn the academics from school so that they can better apply the things that they learn towards the academics. That way it pans out great. But nobody, not in a, in a productive community, job-wise or anything, wants an overly educated, self-righteous, selfish-minded, um, pride feel egomaniac to work for them. Well, this is the way that life is is happening, but it's just that these are not overly educated individuals. No, they're not. It's the way you can be overly educated. The only reason why a person would refer to another individual as overly educated is because they themselves do not know that much. It's not the fact of how much you know, it's how you use what you know as to make you intelligent. You know, like wise. I mean, intelligence, shoot, I can know the, all the alphabets and not even know how to make up a word. You get a person who knows only three letters of the alphabet and they can make up a word and you're like, wow, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, but it's true. In this poem, when it says that they're striving hard to educate the young, forgetting to educate the givers of such. Now, this education is, is twofold. Education academically and then education moralistically. Okay. If you don't have the moralistic education, then the academic education is of no use to you, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things. You know, if you don't have the academic education, your moralistic education can carry you a lot further than just having an academic education. Anyway, so, that poem was paid in full. Now, the next poem that I'm going to read to you is called, because I'm just going down the list now. Every time I put things in order, you know, in some way, shape, or form, then I just start messing up for some odd reason. So, I'm just going down the list. The next poem is entitled, Portrait of My Mother.